So normally you see me at my kitchen table, you know, doing the voiceover stuff or, you know, intros and things for the vlogs sitting there. Uh, but I have some time to kill, so I'm sitting in my car doing this. Um, <laughs> these last weeks have just been all about trying to get well again. Well, after uh, several stressful hours from yesterday with weeks being ill and not being able to do shows, I have finally made it uh, to the Wolf Trap gig. Today is February 1st. I feel like I've forgotten how to do shows right now. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. Sound check warm up. I haven't sung since I got sick. This will be my first time. I'm feeling pretty good now. I was coughing earlier in the morning through the first third of the ride here, about a five hour trip down. Feeling okay now, so hopefully all will go well. I'll do the best I can. Well, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. It's my first time singing since I got sick. Oh, really? Wow. Are you feeling better? Or? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. Uh, phlegmy coughing on the way here, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but better now. Mm. I mean, you know, like just trying to clear out the lungs. You have a gig tonight before, the night before? Yeah, at Carnegie, I can't. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> that little place. so depressed. We're not even staying. I didn't want to stay in a strange hotel and kick myself all night long feeling bad about what happened so Eric and I are driving back. So we get home I'll probably like around 1.30, 2 in the morning. I'd rather go home so I bought some candy. <laughs> I wanted ice cream because my throat's hurting but they don't have any here. Let's get the candy. <laughs> Freaking on, now I'm on. <laughs> that was the best take. Right? I know. We cannot catch a break. Here we are, driving home late. I needed gas because we used all the gas on the way down here. I have a 26 gallon tank, and this is how fast it's going. It's not Say it again. <laughs> not our best day. It's going to take us about an hour to fill up. <laughs> 
and that's with him squeezing it. <laughs> if you don't squeeze it, what is it? Even slower? <laughs> I noticed I'm that. Keep squeezing. Because I noticed at one point it wasn't moving at all. See, now it's even slow. slower. Squeezing. This is crazy. I'm just so depressed. Oh, I wanted some ice cream. I didn't have any. I gotta get better, folks. This is ridiculous. Oh, don't even know what to say. So I bought some candy. I have ice cream, so I bought some candy to cheer me up. <laughs> it's been an expensive couple of days for me. I didn't do the show tonight, but I still gotta pay the guys. Still gotta pay for the hotel rooms, which I'm not even using mine. Neither is Eric. And on top of everything happening to me, my poor Max got hurt. So far, vet Max's vet bill is over $1,000, and it's gonna be going up from there because they're gonna be coming to change bandages couple times take stitches out hopefully that's the extent of it <sighs> bad luck yeah he caught himself in a metal fence it's a fence panel it's like five feet high by 12 feet long uh, and he got his foot stuck way up past the hawk his right hawk and tore the fence down and bent the metal panel to oblivion i didn't see it so i don't exactly know what happened <laughs> um yeah it wasn't a good thing and that happened right the day before i was supposed to go do the wolf trap gig and jake looked up out the kitchen window and he said are the horses supposed to be out i said no so i started running down there and i saw them all up on the above the riding ring where there's grass and they were grazing and and then as I got closer I saw that all the fence was laying down and then I then I saw that panel all bent out of shape and I knew uh oh that's not a good thing so I start looking and see okay which horse is it of course it's Max yeah so I spent several hours at the horse hospital January Sitting outside my doctor's office, about to go in for my second time seeing her. Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she's gonna tell me. If there's anything I can do to speed this up, figure out what it is. <sighs> it feels so weird. It's like I still. I feel it all on my left side. Everything started in the left side. I feel it in my left sinuses. I don't know, folks. I just know that I'm really, really getting tired of this. I'm so down. It's making me so down. And on top of that, Max is making me sad because he's so depressed in his stall. He hates it in there. He's never been locked up like this hates me now because I'm giving him antibiotics twice a day. Big tube. <laughs> Maybe I need it. I don't know. I'll find out today what we can do. I hope. Ah, I'm early. That's one of the reason I'm vlogging here. I'm also going to ask her uh, for a recommendation for a, a good ENT up here where I live. 
my ENT over the years. Not that I've been to her very often, you know, my I'm I was always pretty lucky. Uh, Glenn Corbin in, in Manhattan, amazing. Yeah. Amazing ENT. But I'd love to find one up here if I can, especially. Every time I ever went to an ENT, it, I went to her, basically. It, it, it never really, there was never anything wrong with my vocal cords. And of course, I always went when I had a same thing, a cold or a chest cold and couldn't sing, you know, was on Broadway or doing whatever, couldn't do the show. So of course you go there and nothing, nothing really could be done for me because mine, mine was always the same thing where it goes into my chest and I get this chest infection, whatever. And then it, I cough and cough and cough and then I, I can't belt. <laughs> And for some reason, my vocal cords are always fine. This makes no sense. And that's why I think, um, I remember one time I had some, I think I must have been still on Broadway and had this, couldn't sing. And so, you know, the thing is that you go, you go get a cortisone shot, right? It works for people. Well, I went and got one, made no difference whatsoever. <laughs> I'm a freak. I know. <sighs> I don't know. My voice, my voice, and my voice, and my throat is a mystery to me. Always has been. Just waiting on the dock. Just waiting for the dock. I'm back in the car. She gave me another mommy's note. <laughs> um, put me on a, gave me a prescription for an antibiotic. And most importantly, referred me to an ENT at the hospital up here. So I'm gonna go home and hopefully I can get in. Everybody's so busy these days, it's hard to get appointments, but hopefully I will get one soon and we can get to the bottom of this, okay? That's all for now. Hey folks, here I am again. The saga continues. I am sitting outside yet another doctor's place. This is at a hospital where I am going to see an ENT, ear, nose, and throat specialist. I feel a lot better. Today is, what is today? <laughs> I can't think at the moment what day it is. I think it's, 10th? Apparently when I'm not working, I have no ability to keep track of what day it is. So the other day when I was at the doctor's, yesterday, was actually the 12th, not the 10th. Everything seems to be getting better. I'm getting less and less phlegmy. I'm coughing less, but less, like last night I tried for the first time again to sing a little bit and I got a sore my th my throat started feeling sore, so I hope I didn't do some damage when I tried to sing that wolf trap show. I, you know, when I was warming up, I warmed up really hard. I tried and tried and tried for like an hour and a half just prior to the show, just to get my voice there. And you know, I was sore for many many days after that. So now I I want this guy to take a look, see what's going on down there. Hopefully it's nothing. <laughs> I'm gun shy now. It's horrible. You know, my whole life, basically, from the time I started professionally singing, my whole psyche is wrapped up in my in what I my voice because <laughs> that's what I do, right? It's all I've done. I realized that so much of my self worth is wrapped up in just being able to sing. So when I'm struggling. It's a, it's not a good feeling. I'm sure you can relate to that in whatever it is that you do. Uh, I mean, I'm not, you know, not as bad as some performers who have nothing else but their music, you know, their, whatever it is they do in the arts, that's all they do, that's all they live for. It's never been me, so 
not like that, but I definitely feel it and I'm worried because I've now not sung, been able to sing since I did the Christmas show down in Irvine. I just want to be able to sing again. So the next show that I'm going to try to do is, uh, the, it's a gig down in Jupiter, Florida. And that's on the 2nd. And I hope it works. I hope it works. And to top it off, this weather's making me mad because it's supposed to start snowing tonight. I don't know exactly what time. But maybe, you know, we could potentially get like, I heard six to eight inches of snow or something like that. And tomorrow was the day that Max was supposed to get his stitches out, get that bandage off, get let him go out of the stall. Not happy, are you? You don't want to be locked in a stall. I don't know. Just got another bandage change. He's doing okay. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. And now he has to postpone for a whole another day. I took him out and hand walked him a little and let him graze, but oh, he so he did that for quite a while. And then as I'm trying to walk him to another place, he just gets all you know, he's got so much pent up energy now that he's like he wants to explode on me, so I had you know, I put him back in the stall, but at least I got him out for a little while. But yeah, now he has to wait a whole another day. Nothing is going my way lately. I don't know what it is. I must have offended somebody. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I guess things go in streaks. Uh, I guess I killed enough time. It's about time to go in. Okay, let's do this. left at the piano. <laughs> okay. Expect to see a piano in there. is not comfortable. Oh, it's hard to stay calm when it's like burning and oh, even though they numb you up, it doesn't feel good. But good news is that my cords seem to be fine. However, surprisingly, because I'm not blowing my nose that much at all anymore, but he said I still have, it's still inflamed in here and that's causing the still, the you know, the draining, which is causing the lungs to keep going. And so he, everything, you know, things are just inflamed. So I am going to be up, going on prednisone for five days. I didn't want to, but he recommended that. He said not to take the antibiotic, which had been prescribed to me by my doctor. But I didn't think I needed that. He doesn't see signs of infection. And he's put me on some kind of a nasal spray that's mild, but what that will help apparently. <laughs> so now I gotta go pick that up. And I could have bought it the other day because my doctor had prescribed the prednisone for me, but I don't know how many days she had prescribed it. So well, maybe this is better what he did. Maybe I made the right choice anyway. So 
<sighs> just hoping that they call that in and I'll get the text that it's there at the CVS in my town so I can pick it up on my way home because it's gonna be snowing tomorrow and I'll we'll have to be trying to get it then. So that's the scoop folks. Time to go home. Okay, here I am at CVS. Deja vu. It's just here. I really don't like taking pills of any kind. But if I wasn't a singer, I'd just wait this out. I don't have a choice. I gotta get better. I can make the next gig. Well, the snow. I don't know how much snow we're going to get. I really hope not very much. cold which I guess is nice on the one end but on the other I just wish it was a little bit colder I wish it was freezing or just a, just a little below freezing so that I could use the snow blower because we've got quite a bit of snow but it's just gonna pack into the snow blower it's not gonna work it seems to be the only kind of snow we get these days I never able to use that thing it's a lot of snow I don't know how many inches but it's a heavy wet snow so if it was a dry snow it would be even taller than what we're seeing. Tried to make a little shelter for the feed. <laughs> I think it works. I go under. It's time to go out and put some more. The snow is piling up pretty fast. Three feet away, and I'm still getting wet. Four feet even. Oh, bird.
So this morning I started the very first day of the pre five days of prednisone. <sighs> we'll see how it affects me. I don't know if I've ever been on I don't think I've ever been on it before. I know it can hype you up, I guess, apparently, and have some effects. I didn't want to take it. I don't like taking pills, but hey, if it helps me get through this, that's what I got to do, right? So if I start acting weird or horns start growing out of my head in the process of making this video, you will know why. Here is my medication size as opposed to Max's <laughs> medication size. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's huge. Fortunately, we're done giving him that. I had to crush 18 of those tablets twice a day and put it in a big syringe with some water and squirt it in his mouth. Not fun. Now to top it off, this morning, well, not that long ago, Jake came down and said now he has a sore throat and a runny nose. Oh, I don't think he could have got it from me. I mean, I started getting sick on the 10th of January, so I don't know that, I don't think I'm contagious anymore. I don't know, it's so bizarre. He's prone to tonsillitis, I think, so I don't know. We'll see. It's not so wonderful around the Edder Wildhorn house these days. Well, that's it, folks. Sorry I don't have more interesting content to put on here, but lately there hasn't been that many... Well, they've been interesting, but not in a good way. <laughs> Things going on. Well, one thing we did, <laughs> Jake, Maddie, and I went to an afternoon showing of the movie Argyle. Mm. Well, this is me on the way home. And all I could think was, why did I just waste those hours of my life watching this movie? <laughs> it's just more of the great dumbing down of America. It's terrible. But hey, what are you gonna do? You know, one step at a time. Gotta get through it. So see you around till the next one. Sometimes you need to be reminded of this.